Welcome everyone to an arena video. This is Andrea Gucci. This video is sponsored to you by channelfarball.com and Ultimate Guard. Alright, what did I open? Haunted Nightmare. I hate black. Every time I go black, I lose. You might wonder, man, you wanted to open one more collector. I bet that's green. I hate this card. I don't want to take top dish in this. Second deck isn't even fun. Shall we just take a ram through? Or Lord Lura, Dracus? Of one mind. Shall we just take Lord Dracus or Ant Night or or Ram through? I'll take Ram. Ah, uh, maybe Lord Dracus. It's just an uncommon. I want to take uncommons first. I don't have to do. I don't have to do necessarily blue red. But also blue red's fun. But ram through though. If I pass ram through, I'm like super sad. I haven't drafted mutate in a while. All right, I take ram through. Let's just go all in on mutate. I haven't drafted mutate in a long time, and I don't know. It's been it's been the deck that I love the most. Not necessarily a good deck, but it's definitely a fun deck. Snare Taptation is best card? Ah, it's boring, boring. Alright, let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Baby Godzilla, let's go. Ooh. Okay. A lot of options here. I can take this because this is Mutate. I can take this because it's Enabler for Mutation, although I already have Hollywood Symbiote. Lord Dracus goes well with my ram through. Plus, I wanted to take this card earlier. Alright, let's take it. Oh, Katsuma! This card is amazing, right? Actually, I don't know if it's amazing. It's probably not that amazing. I don't know, I just got excited. Classic Mango, getting excited over random things. <sighs> What's in this pack? I don't want to draft white. I've drafted white in my like last to 20,000 drafts. I also don't want to take Gas to win. This card is very mediocre. Take the land? Oh my. The land is early? I take Tigorilla. Tigorilla. No, I don't want to take white, chat. Stop suggesting white. Alright. Jeez. Rugged Highlands fourth pick? That's sad. Oh, ram through, nice. Very nice. Very nice. Paradise. Very nice, very nice. Ram through. Ram through. Broom. Stum. Basically, ram through is Zinedine Zidane, chat. That's where they took the art from this card. Alright, I could have had like 20,000 Snare Tactician, by the way, if I wanted to. But I don't want to. Monstrous step. I've never played this card before. Should I, should I try this card? Has I never played it? I mean, Prickly Marmoset is whatever. I mean, I really want to be blue and green, but there's just no blue green cards. I'll take. I think I'll take the Monstrous step. I've never, I've never tried this card. I'm still in a trying territory, trying things territory. This card is too long, I don't want to read it. If it's if it's seventh pick, it means that it sucks. Uh take Gast of Wind. I still don't know where my draft is going, but I think this is a solid filler. Alright. A good old mole with a ram through. Mole mole, it's probably it's it's great to ram through. As just you know, you, you can actually you can actually good Pretty good uh, incornata with them all. Alright, what about this? There's a fan's favorite one of mine. Snare Tactician, ninth pick. No biggies. Imagine drafting white. Do I take Jungle Hollow? I really don't want to take this one of mine. Alright, this is a... A card. I love Fertile in my mutate deck. Not that I have any any mutated cards. But. All right, all right. 
look at the shredding sales. You have cards in Italian? <laughs> Why would I? <laughs> no, no. But but with my family, I talk in Italian, if you're wondering that. All right, let's take Thwart the Enemy. Yesterday, I Thwart the Enemy. I got blown out by this card. But I don't think I want to play. All right, so my deck currently has uh, some good setting up with Polywood Symbiote and uh, Lord Dracus. Good removal spell. Die, my kid. This is the Curse of Snapdox. Is that the Curse of Snapdox? Ah, fanculo, va. Matea Snapdox. Ah! All right, I'll take the Glowstone Reckless. Passing Mythic Rare really hurts. Really hurts. Dorat, uh, look at this. We have, we have a lot of green cards. We have a lot of green cards. You, you can't play three colors in Magic. So here we are taking Glowstone Reckless, which goes pretty well with Polywood Symbiote. That's a pretty good curve, isn't it? You go Polywood Symbiote, Glowstone Reckless on it, and just attack for four, drawing this card. We don't want to spread Dragon. We don't want to spread Dragon. That's exactly what we don't want. All right, Parcel Beast, one of the best card in uh, in the standard mutate deck. So I'm not passing it here. Uh, crying for humble and a little bit, but that's fine. I'll take Zagathrium. Uh, big color lands that can cycle them are just amazing, and uh, I think they're much better than any playable, honestly. I mean, obviously, they're not better than like a, a good card, but they're bet that are better than like fillers playable. Just it's like basically the temples in previous drafts. All right, trumpeting Gnar, <coughs> Gnar, Gnar, Gnar. This pack is actually great because Farfinder is also very good in muted decks. Okay, there's okay, so just there's Essence Scatter, there's the Pteron. Pteron is also good, but Essence Scatter is historically a good limited card. Good on turn two and forever. Forever and ever. I also don't have any two drop. Not that this is a two drop. That's a start. Gnar il Grande. Scatter is the best blue common. I disagree. I think it's a, again, like it's a solid common, but it can be, I, in my mind, like the best, I mean, not the best thing matter much, but like, in like, in the first, like I would never go white blue by taking Essence Scatter. That, that's like what I think about like best of something. Let's see, I see a Remtra go green because that's the best green card, but I'd ne never go like, oh, I want to go blue because Essence Scatter. There's not much here. I don't think I want to play any of these cards. This card is a trap. This card is a flyer. It's a human though. You can mutate onto it, so that sucks. Oh, this card is bad. How many spells? I think I have a lot of spells. Or right, whatever. Take the Edges Turtle. Oh, I guess it's Chesso. Yeah, I took the Edges Turtle. Oh, Kaboya chat. Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay, it's time. It's time to switch a roo and go Timur. The Timur. All right, we have one land, Rag Highlands, and a dream. I also have a dream. All right, Almighty. Almighty, come on in, please. All right, Swift Water Cliffs over. I don't care what. Um, uh, nothing. I pass. I pass this pack. Last time I went to Mir, I went two, three twice in a row. Oh, look at this prickly marmoset. <laughs> Poor prickly marmoset looking at looking around, be like, wait, it's me. It's is it me? Why am I here? Reader's fine. It's a human. I don't want to play humans in my muted deck. 
I think that's just a mistake. This card probably shouldn't be here, but until I don't have playable, I'll, I'll leave it here. Brickly. Oh, Phase Dolphin. All right, this is, obviously it's not a good card, but it's a filler. If we end up short, I, I might end up playing it. Guess the Wound is not great. I'll, I'm, I'll definitely cut at least one of them. All right, one, two, three. Lutri! Cazzo Lutri, that's a bomb. Oh no, Dra guys, you need to teach me now. What's the pick? Is it Archipelago, you know, best card in the world? Or is it Lutri, companion? It's like, basically it's like, do we want to begin the game with one extra card every time? Or do we want to, you know, not do that? So do we want to start the game with eight cards? The thing is that, what can we copy? It's not that many things that we can copy. Plus I have to give up on a, a ram through. All right, let's take the bad player pick and just ignore the companion. And people go like, oh, how did you pass to take a companion? All right, passing a Zenith Flare. If I was in an eight man pod or eight person pod, this would be over because I'm passing a Zenith Flare. Like if you, if you play with the people that you draft with, you just can't pass a Zenith Flare. All right, it's like passing, I don't know, Pakrat. Ubez, that was jit. So you just can't do that. You have to take it. But here, I'm not playing with my pod, so I'm just taking Essence Symbiote. That's better than uh, Glimmer Bell, I think. Gaining life is important. Two Zenith Flare, my damage is fatal. That's just whatever. Let's just let's just uh, let's just oh let's just assume that this was not here and there was I don't know King Caesar or whatever. All right, I take the Far Finder here. Zero three deck is not a zero three deck. It's a good deck. Actually, I want to take another Far Finder or Glimmer Bell. Let me see the two drops, because I have a, an SS Symbiote, a Polywog Symbiote, all the Symbiotes basically. Farfinder, how many three drops do I have? This is a filler, this is a filler. This is some good cards, so I think I have enough three drops. I can't take the Glimmer Bell. I think I can't take the Glimmer Bell, right? I'm gonna take the Farfinder. Farfinder is great, right? Yeah. I think a far finder. I have ultimatum. It's it's a good card, but it's can be better than far finder. This card just lets you win so many games by just fixing your mana base. I know I can change your CMC view. I know, I know. I li I like it better like this. This does nothing, right? Yeah. I'm still on twenty playable, so. If we want to deck ourselves, this is the best way to do so, I think. I think I'm taking out of this. I really want to try this card. I have never played it with it, with this card before. You have close to zero removal spell. I have two ram through. Two monstrous step. Plus the Lord Drakis that can return it. Let it ram through. Plus, I mean, blue green is not famous for for having removal spells. Alright. I did reach the 23 playables. Fart Finder. <laughs> yeah, I don't wanna play Wilt though. I understand it's uh, sometimes uh, reasonable, but I'd rather just have Monstrous Step if I wanna play a two mana second card. So it gives plus seven, plus seven to target creature and up to one target creature blocks to discern if it's able. That's cool, that's, that's a cool card, up to, up to. I don't know. Mm, I don't think I want any of these. I already have one Wingful Patera and I don't want to play more. I've never played Keep Safe in my main deck. How do I say Pteron? How would I say Pteron? I don't know, in Italian we say Pteron? Pterodonte? Oh, 
Okay. I don't know about Gast of Wind. I just said I don't have any like I don't have any flyers. Maybe Gast of Wind is just not good in my deck. I love my deck. Three ram through. I mean a deck with three ram through can't be that bad. Can't be that bad. Maybe I should play a facet reader over a gust of wind. And I, of course I can mute it onto this. I can't. But my deck can go late. I guess I can deck myself with facet reader. Pterodactylo, yeah, exactly. Maybe I play Edge Turtle. Maybe I play Starting Development. I have Lord Dracus. Yeah, you know what? I'm playing a Staring Development. This is a a good filler to cycle. And if I mutate onto this, I can just gain some card every turn and mutate on this. It's like drawing a card for one mana. I think that's cool. All right, now lands. On the trois. How many mountains do I want to play? Do I want to play two mountains or one mountain? I'll play one mountain, I think. Despite having two for a finder, I have like... Maybe I should play two mountains. Or blue. Let's put like six of these. Let's, let's see how it continues. I, let's, let's try and put one more of it, everything. Mountain. Let's, let's see how it goes. I just I just put on here a lot of lands and then we'll decide. All right. So now I have... A, so I want to have, I think, nine forests. So I'll go like this. What about islands? Like those have nine islands, so I can go up, down to six, sure. And then I guess I can cut one mountain. Like Genesis Demon costs two red, but I have uh, three red sources. So basically I need to draw, I have Fertile too. So maybe I just need two mountains. Hmm. It's a good question how many mountains should I play in this deck? Exclamation mode is trash. You could be right. You could be right. I already have so many three drops. I think Phase Dolphin's fine. Just because it blocks well. Yeah, I agree. Plus, like, I can actually deck myself with this deck. Alright, yeah, I, I like Tube Teron. I like it. I need some late game things with this deck. Maybe Sudden Spinner is better than starting development. Uh, no, no, this 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 is good. All right, so if I play one less forest, I would have eight forest plus two far finder. I think that's good enough. Yeah, we'll go like this. Boar is trashy. <laughs> trashy is funny. Um. Spinnerets, is it better than the cycling thing? I think I'll play the cycling thing. Madonna mia che palle. Get out of here, Genesis Ultimatum. I just want to take a screenshot. Oh. All right, let's go. Let's go, Almighty. Let's go, Almighty. Archipelago, I took this over Lutri. I mean, I had three ram through. I think I'm happier. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Probably just passing loot trees is just a criminal sin. A sin. I don't even know if a criminal sin means something, but it's a sin. You go first. Thanks. Thanks. I'd love it. It's a faster way to screenshot. Yeah, but then you take all the things screenshot. I just want to take all your side. Of the screenshot. Cardinal scene. That's a great word. Alright, Jason. I'll uh, I'll give you this code. I guess it's a good time to advertise that if you want to subscribe to Channel Fireball Pro to get like the deck vault and all the deck analysis, you can do it putting the code video. While you do that, you will uh, support me and uh, you will get the Channel Fireball things. Or if you purchase cards from Channel Fireball and you have the code video, you will get a mango token along with it. And that's it. That's the end of the advertisement.
And that's the beginning of the Almighty Bush Swag. Bing. Pause the turn. Ah, am I going to cycle this monstrous step? Cheville? The Bane of Monsters is here? Dio bono. Alright, am I cycling? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a cycler. I'm not a cycler. All right, let's get a mountain. Take action. No attacks. Yeah, this is just a blue or red light. I'm, I'm splashing. I guess, I mean, James Ultimatum is just very powerful. I think it's fine to splash. Plus, I have a lot of fixing. The Fertilid is good. Alright, what shall we do here? I think I would just cycle this Zygothriome. I don't have any one drop, right? I guess I have a land. The top land that are my one drops. So I just cycle this Zygothriome. If I play a top land, that's cool. If not, I'll just pass the turn. I could have attacked with Almighty. But I think if they block and I pump, they draw a card. And I just don't want them to draw a card with a Cheville. Opponent name could be a code for, I don't know, free pox or something. Ornbash Mentor. Trample. Oh, that's cool. That's a cool combo. Alright, Trampening Gnar. <coughs> Gnar. Alright, Mr. Gnar. Where are we going here? Are we going on a far finder or are we going to I can also just go cazzo faccio. I'll go on a gnar. So if I if I if I put a far finder here and attack with it. They attack they block with the orn orn bash mentor probably, so that's just a bad combat. Alright, you know what? Put it on here, and then I'll uh over. And then I'll uh fight on the Cheville. Bane of Monsters. I guess I could have put it on the Almighty Bushwag instead. But if they kill my creature, they get the Trumpeting Gnar and the draw card. So I think this is better. It's not a fight though. Yeah, it's not a fight. I mean, uh, damage. Deal damage. How would, I de how, how would I count it? I don't know. But in my mind, uh, it's just dealing damage. But I say fight because I don't know how else to explain it. Is, is there a keyword? Yeah, missing one red mana. I have a uh, fertile lead for finder, a lot of red sources. Punch. It's a punch. It's a punch. <laughs> All right. Not that I ever punched anyone in my life or anything in my life, actually. Benes calls it bite. All right, that's great. That's much better than punch. Bite. I call it the red, the last red sources that were missing. Perfect. Imagine if I didn't want to cast a... Imagine if I didn't want to put a second mountain in my deck. That would have been fun. That would have been fun. Not putting the second mountain in my deck. Imagine people wanting me not to play Agent of the Ultimatum. That would have been fun too. Imagine if the Agent of the Ultimatum breaks very hardly. That would not be fun on the other hand. Or I'll pause the turn here. I'll put a counter with this and I'll just uh, run through the Cheville. Uh, no attacks. No, 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 no attacks. Pass. They, they will tap out for one of these things for sure, and they will all fight at that point. Alright, run through. I have to kill the Cheville here, just because I don't want them to, I don't know, draw a card with the Almighty Bushwag if he dies or like stuff. And plus, that's a death fetch thing. Death fetch is annoying. I have like a monster step and stuff like that. How many lands do we play? Uh, 17, but one of them is a cycle lens. The Zagothriom. Plus F2 for Finder. But I have a lot of expensive cards, like Tube Theron, I have uh, Archipelago and stuff like that. Alright, time for the ultimatum on turn 7. What do we get? Okay, what does this do? Put it on the bottom. Oh no, do it. Actually, this one I don't want to. So I just put these three on the battlefield. 
And the other two goes in my hand, right? Yeah. So this one that goes in my hand. I just want to mutate it. Uh, I just want to mutate it. So uh, flying or X proof? Flying or X proof? What do you want to give to this? Because if I give it X proof, I can. I think I give it flying, right? I'll give it flying. Yeah, I already made my land drop, so I'll pass the turn. Yeah, no attack. Ultimatum is very, very good. Right, drawing five and gaining like eight mana is, is amazing. X proof. The problem is that if I give X proof, I don't think my hand is. I don't have that, that many mutate right now. Plus, I want to mutate onto the Dignar. So I just attack with this. This is flying. Like even if they kill it, sure, you know that means that they don't kill my Gnar. Ugh. This doesn't give trample though. Eh, what should I do? They have mana up. I think I just want to put a glowstone recluse on the Gnar, right? I'm gonna just make a, I'll make a ram, and then it, this one gets bigger. That's that's okay, right? I'll mute it on here. Uh, I'll do under. I'll gain two life. Put a counter. So this one actually becomes very large right now. What's it? A six seven? No, six six. It's a six six, right? And I gain two life too. So I don't want to trade with the Ani Mammoth. This one put his counter on uh, only the Fertilid. They do have the combo there. Uh, I can't pump on my Bushwag, but it's not great. I'll just attack with a Pteron. Muted on Bushwag. Uh, no, I want to use it on this to make the token, right? It's much better. Or right, I'll attack just with this, because they don't have any flyer. And I'll pass here. I'm very ahead. And I don't have to I don't have to do anything. One, once I'll have like, I don't know, 12 mana I can attack with this. Actually I can attack with this regardless for eight mana. I have a ram through up. This is an instant. This is a sorcery. What does brush mean? Brush. What does it mean? I know I know it means like brushing your teeth. Oh, does it mean uh, that picture? Like brushies? Betty, man? Really? Thank you, San Lumiere. I understand now. I understand. I just wanted to make a 3 3, though. Or my opponent is to spend like, a lot of mana to, to thin their deck. That's cool. I could have rammed through this while they were topped out. I guess I could have done that. But I probably just don't care. Monster step is safe. I mean, it's not really safe if the player most player responds. That's bad. Staff around plus three. They have four mana. It's four cards in the end and 11 mana up. So calling lethal. Let's not say lethal, okay? Let's not say the word lethal. Because unless you have Teferi in play. All right, charge of the forever beast. They're dealing five damage to that thing. Sorry, how much damage are they dealing with? Power. So they're doing four damage to my Almighty Bushwag. That's a sad departure, but the, the Almighty Bushwag is actually going to die. They will not draw a card because Cheville is not in play, in case you were wondering. All right, hopefully they tap out playing this Carbon Whisperer. They did, they do not. I wonder what they could have there. Anyway, um, this one makes me discard card, right? So I'll just keep this island in my hand. I'll just attack with a Pteron and pass the turn. My deck is so empty. Sorry, my deck is so full of good, th good stuff right now. I have like Archipelago or more Pteron. All the, all the muted cards I'll just put on the Gnar, which is going to be huge because I have a Recluse and like so on and so forth. Yeah. It doesn't matter. I'm throwing a creature with Trample. Point is on 20, right? We're not winning the game because it, we deal two extra damage. It doesn't matter. Like, as long as I kill, like, an Anima mode, I should have done this last turn. Like, not doing it was a big mistake. Probably holding the Kavu. That's a good point, Digital Limit. Thank you for, for saying that. Booth Nipper. All right. Giving it that touch. We, we don't have to move now. We have a Flyer. As long as they don't kill it, it's, it's all good. Although they will end. Alright, that's the scatter. Uh, 
We have Lord Yes, true, we have Lord Dracus to recast Ultimatum. Am I playing one of these lands? Because if I draw Lord Dracus. If I draw Lord Dracus, I need a five island. Because it costs two blue, so I need five islands. So I'll, I'll play the land there. In case I draw Lord Dracus and, and I want to recast my ultimatum. Oh no, ultimatum is exiled! Oh, that doesn't work. Cat, so that would have been cooler. Also, Point is not using this ability, which means that they have something. They have something over there. We're just attacking there with Dipteron. I mean, eventually they'll find a removal spell for it. Maybe they have the removal spell that only kills the thing without counter. So this one just gets through. Reading is hard. I mean, it's just, it's fine. It's a rare. Okay, they mutate onto the boot nipper. So I can either counter this or I can just ignore it. Just discard an island. I mean, this does have mana. So what do I do? I just double block with the beasts? I think I don't want to, I think I don't want to use an essence scatter like this. We don't have the loot tree, but we do have Archipelago. Archipelago, if I draw that, I probably win the game. All right, resolve, discard island. I was not supposed to play this. I played this for the Lord Dracus to ultimate him. I got baited. I got baited by chat to play that island. All right, let's see what they do. If they mutate on it again, if they attack, you just block it with these two beasts. Mana's death touch. It's fine. I'll lose the beasts, but I got them for free with the trumpet ignor. It's not for free. I had to mutate. But you can't. All right. Uno e due. Block. What are you going to do? Put us two cards in end. All right. Love to see this trade. Unless they return this, like I return two things. I keep on not doing anything here. This must be one of the boring, boring guest game you've ever seen. But that's how it's gonna go today. Yeah, I could have blocked with Beast and Farfinder, that's true. I don't know why I didn't. It was probably a mistake. Yeah, this is a sorcery. I'm not cycling it. I mean, eventually, I'll probably just put plus 7, plus 7 on this and keep my opponent in two turns. Lead the Stampede. Wow. Wow, lead the Stampede. I've never seen this card casted against me. It's mostly because it's very bad, as you can see here. All right. Draw five. It's not a draw five. It's it's much. It's very bad. Link this piece is very bad. Of course, the point might be very unlucky because they have very few lands left. They got them with the combo, but it's still very very bad. All right, attack with a honey mammoth. Wow. Is it the time where we play a ram through? This could be the time where I go for ram through here. It is the time. I'll block first in case they have a combat trick. Thank you, get off my grit. If I waste another creature you control, all right. Let's see. Let's see what can they do here. They have one card in it, and from a read, it was the 4-2. It's a back for more. Wow. Wow, speaking of blowout. Death touch, so it fights. All right, all right, that's good. That's very good. That's very good for them. I mean, all right, this one is death touch and menace. Uh, so, um, I'm not going for the plus seven plus seven yet, so I just play a fertile. I'm not playing Ragged Islands, uh, I'll just attack for 3 and pass. I have misplayed this one, you mean this? I, I, you know, it's important in Magic to play around things. We're playing around the 4-2 flash because we put it in top for a while. And not lead the Stampede, sure. I think now we have the win. You should have pushed maybe? Yeah, I should have pushed maybe, but... I think it was pretty safe because if they play a combat trick there, it means that they're hellbent and they'll just die to my Theron. If they kill the flyer, exactly, exactly, Scalpney. I was exactly thinking about this. 
I was like, I don't mind if they kill my creature because the real threat is the Pteron. They might not feel it's a real threat right now because they're on 11, but they don't know that they have plus 7, plus 7 in my hand, okay? So I'm actually very happy on how this went. It's the Kansas, it's the Kansas City move. No, what was it? What was in that movie? Where, like, we put the attention on a thing that was irrelevant, and then we actually killed them with another thing. In Magic, that happens a lot. Anyway. Pass. Um, a block like this. A block like this. Yeah, older things are pretty irrelevant, so... It doesn't matter. I'll, st I'll still take my plays. I'll still make my clicks, just in case I'm missing something or I misclick. The 4-4 four four is trample. Oh yeah, it's true. Alright, that was a bad block. Cause baby, now we got bad blocks. I also drew all my lands, which is pretty, pretty strange. But that's okay. Good game. I wonder why this is a good game. Do they know I have this in my hand? Probably. They didn't even play. They didn't even bother playing. Sure. I also drew the last land. <laughs> That's funny. Mm, okay. All right. Good game. Good game, opponent. It was, it was a good game. I think uh, we we played well. Um, opponent also played well. All right, first win, first win with Timur, with the Timur deck. It's fine, Ghosting is totally fine. All right, let's go, one and zero with the Ram Through deck. It was a pleasure to play against you, Ikayas, as well. Uh, wish you good luck for the rest. All right, Tomato Soup. Tomato soup. It makes no sense to not play a creature. Uh, if you want to save time in your life, it does make sense not to play creatures. It just depends how much you value your time. Is there any fast method? Uh, usually you should buy the, the bundle and then draft. Buy the, begin, the beginner bundle and then draft. Okay, just draft, draft, draft to build a collection. After you build the collection, you might start playing like constructed, but at the beginning, just draft. Oh, okay, okay, sure. Code of the bed, yeah. Farce Prophecy on turn two, just like that? That's sad. That's sad for my poor Essence Symbiote. Look at this Farfinder right now, just, just brightening our day. It's the best card in the world. We won the Cheetah Limit. We did. Alright, Naya is online. Naya against the Timur, who would win? We, we 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 got our two red sources. We got our two red sources for uh, for the ultimatum. We're only missing two blue sources now. All right, baby Godzilla, it's your time. Ruin reward. That's good, Ikai. Yeah. So um, usually I play Magic with my friends on Google Hangouts, and uh, often I play against streamer, especially during the the weekdays, and. Um, and everybody, every time I play against, I don't know, Yama Killer or uh, Gennari, you know, one of this like vintage streamer or like legacy streamer, like Anzi D, Julian Now, like this, they always go like, oh, they're streaming, they're streaming, they're streaming. And I have to like force them not to go ghosting for me. Because of course they ghost for them, like everybody goes. But, you know, it's just like, that's fine. All right, Archipelago unfortunately cannot come down next turn because my opponent killed my baby Godzilla. That's very sad. Is Naya the most underplayed color combination? I think it's Mardu. But Naya is also up there. Alright, this one muted for 6. So next turn we can mute it onto the... I don't actually, mute it onto the Dolphin doesn't seem bad. Mute it onto the Dolphin does not seem bad. Because this can just attack for free and make like one of our creature unblockable. So yeah, this card is pretty good in a muted deck. I'm very glad I have Archipelagore. I don't know, maybe Lutri would have also been amazing. Anyway, we are missing two blue land to cast ultimatum. Snail Tactician resolves. Alright. 
Uh, I, was, I was maybe going to stomp there, but now that I drew a land, I'm just gonna play Archipelago. Or... Actually, though, I might not do that. I might not do that. Alright, I have a plan, chat. I have a plan. The plan is to cast up Tehran, give it X proof, and then just equip it, and then our opponent will slowly die. Slowly die. I'm so glad someone in the chat suggested me to put a second Pteron in my deck. Thank you very much, person in the chat that said that to me at the beginning of, at the end of the deck building. I just lost a second, added a second of this. It was so powerful. So powerful. I've actually been always over, uh, how do you say that? Um, I've been, I've been always surprised by how strong, strong was the Pteron, both with my deck and against me. No, we're so close. All right, one land away. One land away from... Uh, sorry, actually, one island away to cast the ultimatum. Yeah, nice. Nobody has ever defeated a Pteron plus Archipelago. Or... Underestimate, thanks. That's the word. That's the word, underestimate. I mean, it's just so powerful. It's just so powerful. It's a 7-7 seven, seven X proof. And then I give it plus 7, plus 7 as well next turn. All right, all right. This deck is going well. I, I love how it plays. Of course, getting paired against Naya helps, but overall, uh, it's it's yeah, it's good. Trying constructed <laughs> new Carnage Tyrant. That's true. All right. Once again, we have the Farfinder helping us, helping us, helping us getting our our lands. Kind of trying to add trample. All right, is there is there a thing that gives trample? Uh, do I want to play a Zagathrium? I think so, right? Hello, hello, Ganna Drafter. All right, let's play the Zagathrium. Mentor, oh T Rex, T Rex. That's true, Titanus Rex. Trample Mentor, I've been very disappointed by that. Humble Naturalist is a good card. Ram Through, it's also a good card. All right, let's go Farfinder to begin with. Or I can go Trample Ignar. No, let's go Farfinder. I just want to keep my Pteron. I don't feel like, I don't feel like going on uh, over, because I could go Gnar and then Recluse on the Gnar. That would be also a good curve. Hmm. Yeah, gem razor. I mean, you you just put it over and then get trample. That's true. Ooh. Attenzione, attenzione, chat. We are getting a deer. Am I going for a recluse on the far find or just getting for a million damage? Why not, right? How do they how do they kill this? Oh, with a blood curdle, but they're very far away from casting a blood curdle. All right, let's go on the far finder. Over, and then attack for four. Boom. Then next turn, I can even go like trumpet ignar on it. Attack for seven. Make a beast. Then eventually we'll rebuild with Genesis ultimatum in case they kill us. We'll see how it goes. I have all my mana to cast ultimatum. I'm only missing an island. Like the hardest part is the two mountains. So we already got there. Uh, no, we didn't cast ultimatum last game. Oh, mutual distraction. I didn't think about this. All right, this is this is pretty bad. I mean, it's a two for two at the end of the day. Or rather, we gain value here. But giving value to Scorpion is sad because this card is just like the worst. So whenever you give value to it, it's... All right, Almighty. Almighty is a good draw. Or is not a good draw. Why did, why did I say it was a good draw? It's a pretty bad draw. Anyway, let's just play Almighty and pass. Uh, eventually, I'll uh, Trumpet Ignar over it, I think. If I draw land, I just cast the Pteron. But if I don't, I might just mute it onto that. Yeah, this is where Almighty just doesn't shine at all. Yeah, exactly. The Scorpion without that, that's just strange. But I mean, not all the Scorpion kills you, right? Not all the Scorpions kill you. Migratory Great Turn onto that. Okay. Someone in the chat suggest ignore and fight. That would also be a good play. Yeah, that probably should have been. That probably was the right play, actually. I under, under I I underestimate my opponent ignore, maybe. They can't attack, so I'll take my turn. Yeah. Draw land. 
All right, I'm still one island away to cast the um, to cast the Gnar. I'll give it X proof to cast the ultimatum. I mean, let's see. Island. I'm missing an island here. Insatiable Amophage. So opponent drains me for two. Get a land that makes a token. That's a big deal. I really wish I'd killed this. Ay ay ay. Ay ay ay. Die island. Do, do, do. Island. Do, do, do. That's an attack. Oh, it's death fetch. That's why it's attacking. All right. Island. Do, do, do. Island. Do, do, do. Some random cards were there. All right. Island. Come on. Monstrous step. It's not an island. All right. I have to kill this. But I can't. I guess I can if I pump those and fight. I'm not even fighting, just kill. I think I have to do it actually, right? I think I have to, I have to kill these things because this thing is just getting out of hand too much. All right, uh, let's attack with Almighty. If they double block, uh, I don't want to attack with Almighty. Actually, actually, you know what? I'll attack with Almighty. I'm fighting trading with a beast because I, I have to pump regardless this turn. I gotta hope they block. If I can trade Almighty with a 3-3, three, three, I'll be very happy because I don't have the mana to put onto this. So I have the mana now. I don't have the mana next turn. So if Almighty can like kill a beast, I'm, I'm okay with that. But like block block with the beast and the humble naturalist. That would just be the smartest block. They could also block with two beast and an humble naturalist to play around my, my, my fight spell. That's probably the second smartest block. Maybe the first smartest block actually. Do it on this on my opponent's turn. It's not that if a card is an instant you have to do in your opponent's turn. It's important to know that rule because instants don't mean that you can only cast your opponent. You can also cast in your turn. And uh, if I cast in my opponent's turn, they can have a removal spell of their own and blow me out. Whereas now they're tapped, so I want to do it in my turn. So one of the most common mistakes is that you know you play instance in your opponent's turn as as a rule. Whoa. I'm even going to deal a lot of damage here, right? Oh no, actually I won't. But anyway. <laughs> I, I, yeah. So this is just four damage there, and now I deal three damage. But I have a three six X proof, which is very good blocker right now. Hello, Smooth. Oh, we're two and oh, but we went to one and three in the previous draft. Godzilla. That's a 70 mana. That's a nine mana eleven eleven. Porca putana. Porca putana. All right, island. Let's go. Die, Gaskifo. All right, I guess I can go double monstrous step next turn. I'll cast this parcel beast, but whatever. I can go double monstrous step here. It's just plus 14, plus 14. <laughs> but this will be tapped. How can I win this game? I have no clue. I have no clue. Yeah, adult Godzilla is bigger than baby Godzilla. This is a primeval champion. This is a ruin reborn. Whoa. I didn't see on the chat. Because either I'm dead on board, or they are. I haven't played 9 mana, right? Three, say no. So I need one land to cast double monstrous step. My opponent, please don't see my hand. Just attack with all. I don't think I'm lethal. I don't think this attack is lethal. Because I can just take this, I'll block the rest, and I go to 1. And then I untap and win the game. So please attack like this and I draw land. I have to stop an upkeep, I think, because it's really desperate land draw here. All right. Let's go. So how do we attack? How do we block? Sorry. Like this. Like this. Like this. So like this is 13 damage. So I have to block it a different way. Actually, is this a good block? Or, or I can block like this, and then I take 
7, 10, 13, that's exactly lethal. Aspetta, 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 if I block like this, it's 5, 5 più 7, 12. So I go to 1 here and then tap with <clears throat> all my creatures, which maybe makes me lethal even with just one monster step, if I attack like this, if I block like this. So 5, 5 più 7, 12. All right, I'll go to, I'll go to 1 here. I'll go to 1 here. I mean, of course, if they have anything to lose. All right, I'll go to 1 here. A uno non è mai morto nessuno. Point is all tapped out. Let's see what they have. All right. They're passing. I have in damage 5 più 3, 8. Più 7, 15. So I'm not lethal. I'm not lethal if I just pump the bushwag and monster step. Because that would be 4. 11 plus 4, 15 damage. So I just have to top the Akaland. I just have to top the Akaland. All right, let's do it. Come on, Dito. Die. One, two, three, land. Nish. <sighs> All right. What can I do? Ram, we win. Ram through. Ram through, chat. You're saying ram through, we win? Is that true? So I go plus seven plus seven on the Almighty. Plus seven plus seven on the Almighty. Because this is trample. Right? So I go plus seven plus seven on the Almighty. Submit zero. Then I'll go Lord Dracus on the Almighty. Draw on this card, why not? This returns in hand, right? Return the the uh, over. Return the the Amali. Run through. Yes. Now I'll run through with a uh, a three drop. So I deal six damage. Whatever. I'll tap first, and then I run through. This is trample, correct? Yes. So I tap it all. All right, and then I'll run through. Lord Dracus on a Night Squad Commando. The champion! Do, 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 do. All right. I'm saving uh, the time because I want to clip this afterwards. This has been, this has been a good, like a good line. Like, a land would have been easy win, but, you know, <laughs> this is this is a good line. All right, 3-0. Nice victory, chat. Yeah. That was a very good victory. That was a very good victory. The almighty Bushwag. It was a 1-1. One, one. But, but if it wasn't for it, I, I didn't have Trample. So it was the, actually the Bushwag. Like, like me not blocking with Bushwag was was gave me the path for lethal. Cause if last turn I don't do the block that I did and I just, you know, take eleven with the Titanos Rex instead of blocking it with the Parcel Beast, I would have not had the 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 the, the Bushwag around. I mean it obviously ended up all or kinda random because I thought I could pump the Bushwag and give it almost lethal with only one plus seven plus seven, but I was two points short. Yeah, Ram Throw is amazing. I mean it was my first pick. I have three of them in my deck. Let's yeah, say that. In the second game, I didn't have ultimatum. I won without it. I mean, if you want to say it, that's cool. But Plus, if you have any in your hand, opening again, it's not great. You'd rather just draw it later. Yeah, we have to draw Farfinder exactly, because then we put a Parcel Beast on it. Cheville. All right. We are in the Shivel bracket here. I just lay down a Timir, because that's cool. These are the champions. All right, Moscow to Goriak. Hey, we go Parcel Beast here. 
Parcel Beast is just a card aid, it doesn't have any value for mutating. So I'm just gonna use it as like the tap it and do my things. I wonder what's this attack. Oh, maybe they have the 4-2. The, the maybe they have the 4-2. The Flametongue Cavu. Monstrous Tapas wins two games. I mean, the previous game didn't really win us. But yeah, I mean, plus 7 plus 7 is great. Plus it has cycling. I did take very highly, though. Ooh. Uh, I think I'll play one of these cards. Probably just a Reckless. I mean, I know it sucks, but... Yeah, I just cast it and pass. I want to use the Parcel Beast ability. Let's see if they put it if the 4 to end of turn. Oh, Dark Bargain. Yeah, I can't I can't run through anything, so I'll just let it go. Usually Dark Bargain shows two lands and a spell, in my experience. Yeah, this is this is instant. Right? Uh the Dormer is ambitious sorcery, right? So it's not true that it's necessarily better. I right, keep on taking the damage here. Actually, no, you know what, block. I don't care if they play Flamethon Cow on this red close here. Because the Parcel Beast is strong, but this one is not. So I'll just block the Moscot Goriak. And I just don't care if they Flamethon Cow it. Plus, like, if Flamethon Cow my Parcel Beast, they get to draw a card, gain three life, and then the Cheville put a counter somewhere else. Whereas now, the Cheville just basically gets countered because her Parcel Beast is not going to block or attack ever. Oh, Space Godzilla. Uh, yeah, that's that's it. I can't I can't do anything about it. Ambush gives planeswalkers. That is true. Ram it. It's a two four. Ram through is not great. I mean, I could ram through it now, but we'll see. First, I want to use the parcel beast ability because I'm looking for just lands to cast my ultimatum. Uh, am I just costing this? Lord Dracus. Uh, I think so. It's pretty bad to just play this all these mutate cards like this, but at the end of the day, I just have to. I'm like one mountain or island short of casting ultimatum, and I draw two cards next turn. So hopefully we'll get it. The Mardu went one and three. It was very bad. It was very bad. I did lose a game of decking that I could have just stopped drawing extra card, and maybe it would have been like two three, or, or rather two two. But it wasn't. It was just not a good deck. Basically, I was just black and white, no humans. Like, that just, it's not an archetype, you know? It's like if you build, I don't know, a Gruul Fires deck. Kappa. Yeah, Scoop Prophet does an animation. Maybe they thought this card would have been more destructive playable. Quick question. Ah, uh, too, too long, sorry. Uh, 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 so I have Essence Scatter up, but I really want to use the Parcel Beast ability. I'm like one island short of casting Ultimatum. Oh, special sterics. Oh, no, 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 all right, close enough, though. I don't want to tap this partial beast. I'll just... Uh... Actually, I can put Archipelagor on the Lord Dracus. And I even got back this Essence Scatter. All right, that's what I call value. I don't know about you, but that's what I call value. Value over, yes. All right, I get back the Essence Scatter, and I tap uh, the Moscow Goriak. Wait, can I tap two things? This creature just mutated? Oh, it only muted once, that's true. Alright, I'll pop the turn. You know, comments first, but there could be multiple Mythic Uncommon. Sorry, I will never make fun of group fires anymore. Never. I understood the lesson. Blood curl? I have a bit. Yeah, that's gone. Good sport. Alright. 
Opponent creatures have uh, a lot of text. Even the, the Moscow Goryak has a lot of text. Okay, you can attack me for four. Yeah, no blocks. That yeah. All right, we need an island. Let's have two cards. Is it working at all? Yeah, because we put it on the Parcel Beast, which is like the best thing ever to not attack or block with. Survivor's Bond, get back the Auspice thing. All right. Die Island. Vamos. Yes, ese. Let's go. Genesize. Ultimato. Pfft. All right, what do we get? It's not bad. Not bad. Could it be worse? Uh, what do we want to give to this? Uh, Exproof, right? Might be flying. What do we want to give to this? Exproof or flying? I'll give it Exproof. A, I'll tutor for a island. Have I played land this turn? I don't think I did. Take action. As always, we have like four lands left in my deck and 16 spells. Sorry, 14 spells, four lands left. No biggies. All right, um, I could kill some things now because I have Essence Cutter up for their Sterix. What do I want to kill? This is Manus. I don't care because I can double block it. This is two for death, the Vigilance. It could be annoying, but I can't kill this actually. What about Shaville Bane of Monsters? I mean, this one is another Death Thatcher that could be annoying. Plus, if they ever kill my Parcel Beast. All right, you know what? I'll uh, kill the Shaville. Yeah, I'll pass the turn with Essence Scatter up. They knew about it, but what, what can you do? Mario Fox with a 15 month streak. Thank you very much, Mario, with your Fox emoji. No, my what the quad, you're playing a memory leak? Team of Scarf, yes, memory leak. Never been, never been, never been, never been, never been. Fifteen months is a lot of months. Thank you for the support. Die, bye bye. Discard this essence scatter, sure. They have the Sterix. I can't just I can't even S I can like monster step and run through it. I guess what's left in my deck? I have another monster step for sure. I have uh, well, another wing wingfold pterodon. I just don't have much left actually. Do I have the bushwog? The bushwog is gray here if I draw it. All right, our attack with a Goriak. I'll take two damage. It's funny how I have like 18 cards left in my deck, no lands, and I just don't know if I have anything left. <laughs> this is a lot of bad cards. A lot of bad cards. <sighs> I mean, I'm casting them. I can actually top the par- I, you know what, I'll top the parcel beast now. I don't do anything with this, I would never block with it, so let's just top this now. Starlink's development. Alright, I didn't even know this card was in my deck. I mean, this could be a nice card eventually, I don't know. Death Fetch Vigilance. Alright, what can we do here? Cause I could play monster st no, no, whatever, I'll pass. I I don't, I don't want to use my monster step to kill like this this these things. I'll kill I'll kill something else later. Flying would have been better on the Pteron. Because I wanted to block. Because I was I'm actually I was actually behind. I was on 10. They had like a bunch of creatures. Like they missed the turn. Like they went this into that. But if they played a large thing, I've needed maybe to. Also, I wanted to stomp. To step on the Pteron and he need to get X proof if I want to put the stomp over it. Or there's also a line where I just triple block it. Nah, that's bad. I'll just do it. I don't want to put the Starling development on the Farfinder. It's just a... I don't know. I'll, I'll eventually deal with this card. Alright, Kogel. That's unfortunate because they will kill my Parcel Beast probably. We'll see what happens. They kill my parcel beast. Yeah, I can't do anything about it. And then next turn I will uh ne this turn I'm going to do some some cool stuff. Alright, so first thing first, I'll play a monster step 
on the Pteron. Yeah. And then I, I, I ram through the Goriak. And then I'll, I'll make them block with this. This is in defense 13, so it can't die. It's important that I put it on the... On the, on the Pteron here. It's very important I put it on the Pteron. Because I put it on something smaller. Actually, I should probably put it on something smaller. I don't know. So we'll run through uh, this and that. And then attack. They have to block with a Kogla. I could attack with a Symbiote. No, I'll stay. And then I'll just play a far finder, get a last land out of my deck, and pass the turn. I don't have this up, because I'm not gonna play the land, because I have Baby Godzilla. I have 14 cards left in my deck. Should I have one land left? Oh, three lands left. Really? I thought I really had less. Oh, how many oh, what, what's a good card left? I have an Almighty Bushwag, another Stomp, a Bristling Boar, one more Ram Through, Windfold Pteron, Phase Dolphin, also good. Alright, I'll take a land and pass the turn. Yeah, I don't wanna play this land. If they go Sterix on something, actually, if they go Sterix on something, this is an eight. This becomes an eight eight. I can play Staring Devil upon this five six eight. I might. Yeah, I might do it actually. I'll put only only have six lands in play, and I have like I don't know a million. All right, I go there. So that's an eight eight. We were expecting it, right? Can even target their creature with the, the with this. Right, what did I put into play? A land. Okay, sure. The two mana up. So that attack. Now I can make this a four four, and then I can just yeah, I'll do that. I'll block with the team and play and put that a four four. Right? This one will die because it's four five six eight. Yeah, I think it's okay. It's not working anymore when I try to block like that multiple times. Let's do block. Let's see how they let's see how they This is an 8-8, eight, 8-8, eight, 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 because you have two counters on it. So I'll go starting development on the far finder. Startling development. And now it's a trade. There I have a 3-1 uh, menace and I have a... Uh... Too far finder. It's not bad. Run through. All right, I'll attack. I'm on three life, so I don't think I can attack. Can you attack with one? If they kill this, they can attack for lethal? Yeah, let's, let's not do that. I don't want to use a run through just to kill a school profit. 19 to three. But they have, they, have, they have like only lands left in the deck or something. They might have been slow rolling some lands because they drew only seven. Oh, it is a Vigilance. I'm sorry, chat. I'm sorry, chat. I, I forgot that this thing is Vigilance. All right, I missed two damage. Yeah. Hey, La Madonna, where did the opponent got all these cards? And Nairo Species Derrick's and the Corpse Churn, thank god. Alright, so... I think I, I mean, I'll untap, I don't mind doing anything end of turn. Dai però, porca Eva! I mean, I have to, I have to run through this Bushwag here. If I don't run through the Bushwag, then untap, play a land, this becomes a 7-7 seven, seven and I can't kill it, so I have to kill that. Such a bad feeling. I'm not that on board, thankfully, because I, I gained a, at least I didn't draw basic land, but it, you know, gained a life. So if they attack with the team, I can like double block there, block there, go to one, and then we just steer a three four against a three six. So so they don't they don't have uh, good blocks there. They don't have good blocks there. Sorry, good attacks here. Come on, just have two lands in and die. What can they draw as good? I don't even know. Trump and Ignar. I have left 11 cards. They have left 13. 
I only drew seven lands. It's so amazing. In my land, in my deck, I have uh, I think three basics and one Zago three ohm, or maybe two basics and one Zago three ohm something. This is a difficult game. This has been a very good, difficult game. I'm very happy that this was just best of one in draft. You know, playing three games like this every time would be very, very annoying. I'm dead way before decade. I mean, it depends if they don't do anything. I'm in a good spot here, but they played a card that I've never seen before. Que fasta carta. Whenever this creature mutates, return any number of target creatures with power dial. Okay, Dici. All right, Biolante. I'll decide not to block. All right, good game, opponent. Defeat. <clears throat> The feet. All right, all right. Pick the first lo loss is fine. This game has been close. This game has been close. Which feet? Yeah, their deck is good. I mean, limited is uh, as a you know a skill part in like drafting the good decks and a luck part in uh, opening the good opening the good cards. But it could also be like in being the right colors and get past the good cards. Magic overall is a game of like half luck, half half skill. So you know, most of the times it goes your way. Sometimes, sorry, sometimes it goes your way. Sometimes it goes your opponent way. I'm gonna cycle the Starling development, looking for either an island or far for finder. I just do it main phase. I don't want to. I don't want to bother clicking OK a bunch of times. All right, we got the mountains. The mountains are very loyal. We always draw a couple of mountains every game. It's pretty. It's pretty amazing how we always draw two 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 mountains every game. I like. Don't draw as many. Arr, hello, Farfinder. I've been missing you. I was wondering where is my fox? Where is my fox? And the, the fox just showed up right on time. Thank you, Foxy. Thank you, Fox Fox. All right, I'll play my, I'll play my bristling boar. I'll attack. Hopefully, they don't play anything flashy. Play a bristling boar. If they counter it, we won't cry for it. We have, we, have, we have some mutates. We have some mutates. E -ta -ta -ta. I'll play a mountain, I'll attack. And then I'll play. Oh, a capture sphere. All right, Daniel Pony, you'll take one damage. And then boom, a sense symbiote. A Genesis Ultimatum is fine. I think it's okay. My deck is pretty free to the, the Red Splash. Like, every time I've cast it, I mean, it was draw five, you know? I think I'll ram through that. Actually, I think I don't. If I didn't mutate on this, I mean, it won't end up next turn. I think it's okay. All right, Archipelago. Or maybe you want to go Pteron first. All right, I should have definitely mutated it. Uh, yeah, I should have definitely. Yeah, that was a mistake. I should have definitely killed this end of turn. All right, because for some reason I thought I was going to cast this, but no, I should just cast this and then put an archipelago around to it. I mean, I can't cast ultimatum right now. If I draw, it's going to be a very bad draw. All right, archipelago, it's your time. Let's go on the Pteron, uh, over. Let's uh, tap their Heron, which is worse than a Pteron. And then we attack for a lot of damage. Yeah, this is just a combo. This is just a combo. Archipelago plus Wingful Pteron. 
Very hard to beat. I mean, I guess you can beat it with like Death Touch, but I have a removal spell in my deck. You draw the cards no matter what. Yeah, yeah. You put a card in your hand, but like cost three blue. It's it's hard. It's hard to cast. You know, it's a very hard card to cast. All right. I don't think I. It's just it's so hard to lose a game where you draw Pteron and Archipelago. It's just very hard. It's just very hard to lose a game where you draw these two cards together. Like, it might be just one of the two-card combo in the format. Did you have fun in this match? It wasn't the best match, because the X-Proof mechanic is the worst, me uh, is worst mechanic ever. Like, I wonder why they don't... What's the word for indignare? Why they don't they... Why they don't outrage for the mechanic X-Proof? Like, I, like, they outrage for the mechanic companion, sure. It's awful. It should never be done. That's true. But what about the mechanic X proof? That is the worst mechanic in the, uh, ever. Like, there's even a deck. Boggles. That's like, you know, one of PTQ in modern, you know? That is the worst game of magic you can possibly play. That is a mechanic you should be outraged for. And Mado should post a lot of questions on Twitter to show that he cares. All right, team, your mana base. Mwah. There's no hex proof in standard. Sure, but that's in draft. Alex Zil Silver. Shroud was worse. It wasn't. It wasn't. Shroud was was okay at least because you couldn't you couldn't. You part of the droid? Whoa, that's a great draw. I mean, I'm just get excited when I draw two drops on curve when I don't have them. Oh, Caputana, baby Godzilla. The actual baby Godzilla. I don't think I play because... All right, I'll play an SSC build first because that's just a tax for two. But baby Godzilla is great here because it makes me cost this for four. Nice. Let's get into this attack. I'll point out with the classic one, two, three, you can do anything. That's not a very strong play limited. You're, sh you're supposed to bother get hands like that, unless you have like a Wrath of God or like some super powerful cards. I guess on the play, you can keep, I don't know, Blood Curdle, sure. Now the question is, do I want to pass? Probably, right? I think I need to leave up Essence Scatter on this turn. Wow, they don't do anything. Uh, I'll play Fertility here. They didn't do anything last turn, so I don't think I want to leave up Mana for Essence Scatter again. And since they are up for Mana, I don't want to play the Bristling Boar. I could play this. Right, I can cycle this right now actually for look for a top land. Because I've played two top land in my deck. Alright, cool. Nice. All right, I'll uh I'll play for finder, leave up mana for essence scatter. I'll get a mountain, I think. So that they have like just one island away from casting the ultimatum. Which is gonna be very good in this matchup, because my opponent's playing a control deck. I could play a Gnar, but I just don't feel like it. So I'll just attack and play a bristling boar. Wow, they do nothing here. Biolante. Looks like everybody is playing that card today. Alright, I don't even know what it does, but I have an SS Cutter up, so I will counter it. Now we'll play a Gnar over Finder. I'll attack for Tin. I 
and hopefully they die. Don't do anything, just die. Just die. Just die, opponent. Essence. Alright, they're thinking about it at least. I mean, if they play it. Alright, win. Cool. 5 and 1. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Alright, Platinum Tier 2. Platinum Tier 2. We are like a lot of wins away from Diamond. Uh, ready. Mystic of Dispute was my preview card. It was the last time Wizards gave me a preview card, so don't talk bad about it. When I was cool and Wizards was giving me preview cards. Now, not cool anymore. So I will cherish the Mystical Dispute as my last preview card forever. Swift Water Cliffs. And once again, I'm just going to cycle this immediately. I, I, I love, you know, combat tricks like that. Uh, sure, a rugged islands, let's go. Far, far wow, is this a mirror match? Jeez, I put a neck deck does. Filthy net decker. Filthy net decker. Alright, look at my hands. I just have stomp, ram through, you know. All the source of uh That's true, Magical Muffin. Also, the card that I was, the preview card I was the most excited about that I got was Echo of Eons. Because I'll tell a cool story about that, that preview card, Echo of Eons. All right, we have the combo. All we have to do is not die. Which is, it's not, it's not, it's not that easy. Die my kid. <laughs> I, where the spark, I got given a preview card. It was like, it was like, it was like one garbage common. It was it was one garbage common. You know, it was Oh Kamadoska. Alright, I would upper just tap two islands so that my opponent was like, alright, come on, let's go, no essence scatter. It was one garbage common. And that was like when when they previewed the I have the combo and I'm using land. Nah yeah bro, I cycled three times and I got far finder. Just give me a land. Alright, one second, I'll tell the story afterwards. All right, this is this is this is a block. I don't even know how, how can I. Ma porca puttana Eva. All right, no more, no, no more, no more funny story. Die! No, that's so good. That's so good. What do you put into play? Nothing. Just just the land. A mystic sub duel? <laughs> sure. Alright, broccoli forest. I, I I still believe. Actually, how can I believe? I'm like I'm like dead here, right? I'm like the deadest. Do you have any answer to that thing? Oh yeah, I can. I can. I can. I can. I can survive. La la la. I draw land. I put Archipelago onto this tap. Then I can fight it. All right, guys, we can do it. G Dora The gorilla. All right. The gorilla. Boom. What do I want to draw? Mountain. That's okay. As long as my opponent has stone, nothing. We can we can leave. Archipelagore, it's your time to shine. You have to put it on here, right? Because on this is a this becomes a five, so yeah. Let's go. Vamos archipelagore. Vamos a la playa. Alright, over. Top there, archipelagore. Is it also flying? This one has mana's probably, I can just double block it too. Yeah, sure, pass. 
I have Carbo Live. That's 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 enough. Carbo Live is enough. Pass opponent. Pass. Pass opponent. Just play land and say go. Just like boom boom. Skip the whole turn. Dream Tailor run. Okay. All right. As long as they don't like that. Take a fuck with low. All right. Tap two things, right? Sure. And they get into play Nomino C. Tutu tua. -tua. Do you do it twice? All right. Throws very elf addition to the game. Oh, that's fine. It's a land. This is the, I hate top lands. Opponent pass. I know it's very hard. You probably don't do it, but pass. Attenzione! 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 Because I can go mutate onto this. Right? I would tap. Alternatively, I can go. Pew, pew, pew. This turn, I can like. Wait, look at this. Look at this chat. F Madonna mia, look at this. This is trample. It is trample. Do I just. This is the classic triple run through. We kill uh, Iluna, or all the things over there. Wow. Imagine winning this game. Imagine winning this game. I put it a past the turn with Archipelago, Heron, Iluna, Proud, Will Bonder, Theorius, Tigorilla, and be like, Dai, come Giguda! Ma no! Miss! 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 No, they got my Pterodon! Cazzo di puta! Aspetta, 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 aspetta. We're, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine, because those tops two things, right? We're fine. Under. I can't cast ultimatum, I, I don't have three islands. So I'll tap two things, right? Two things I tap. Yes, I tap for nine. Die, Gamori. Die, 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 die. Opponent, explode, explode, explode opponent, Ex Bye. explode, no. Alright, what do you do? Archipelago is so powerful, it's insane. I mean, ram through, it's like a two mana terror. Frenzy Raptor, matuta la vita, Frenzy Raptor. Alright. I still have lethal. I still have lethal as long as they don't have anything. All right, Kamadoska. All right, now the big question here is: I mean, this is very much lethal. This is very much lethal. This is very much lethal. Lutri, va bene. They're like all the companions and didn't choose to play any companion. All right, we got it. Luck, skill, victory over here. You might wonder, wait, was there an Almighty Bushwag? It was! It was the Obon of Poom! Alright, what a, what, a, what a cool game. What a cool game. What a cool game. Bushwag. Win basically winning all the game with Almighty Bushwag here. Just like winning actually all the game with that card. Six and one, let's go. Triple Ram was like so amazing. Triple Ram was so amazing. All right, Timur, Greyhand, Send Kali. There's, there's an emote. <laughs> Castello, thanks for the raid. You joined right on time as we are drafting this very good deck over here. We're six and one currently with our team here. Actually, red is only for the ultimate, so it's just basically a Simic deck. All right, another question is: Do I want to play Baby Godzilla or do I want to play SNC Build? Because I really want to play a Face Dolphin next turn just to block the Savai Thunder Tooth. 
Sabertooth. I think I played Baby Godzilla. <laughs> Hello, Capitan Croquetta. No, Team Croquetta. All right, Team Croquetta. Team Croquetta. I haven't been in Spain in so long, actually, now. I will. I will be back. All right, what's that? I don't like a Mossa di Merda. Sure. All right. What are we doing here? I mean, I can go Parcel Beast on the Baby Godzilla. Draw this card. I think it's a great play. Draw this card. I'll get rid of a Forest. Over. Of course, they don't block. I'll just, I just activate a Parcel Beast ability. This is the curve that I love to do in my Blue Remuted deck. Durable Cobog, sure. Why do many Spanish words in your stream? I don't know. I love to be. I don't believe in uh, the concept of uh, you know one language. I like to be multi language. All right, Zekithrium. So I definitely want to activate this. I could just cast a Symbiote and trade with a Cold Bug. Actually, Cold Bug just get blocked by this. So maybe I don't care about. I definitely want to activate the Parcel Beast every turn. I can't just go land because I don't I don't care much if I take another hit of the Emophage. This is Death Fetch, so I can't block it with a dolphin. I'm basically I'm basically Pitbull. No, what was the thing? Mr. International? There was a song. There was a song with like a Mr. Worldwide. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Mr. Worldwide. Anyway, um, I was thinking about what my line was this turn. It's actually difficult. I think I'll go for Fertilid Go. Not sure. Mr. Worldwide. I'll take three from the Insatiable Hemophage. Fifth land. I have to open the window. This room is getting hot. This room is getting hot. Majestic Auricorn. Auricorn. Majestic. So majestic. All right, I'll activate this parcel. Can I get a land? I don't know. I just, I think I have a lot of gas. I just want lands. No, not bad. So I have a lot of Sima. Genesis Ultimatum. It's very much not a land. All right, what shall we do here? I just feel like I have like so many good cards, but like after all, I am just I just don't have much. It's an awkward feeling. What can I do is play a Starling Development on the Fertilid. It's pretty noisy outside. If you think it's too noisy, I I close the window. Okay, checked. It's not that noisy. It's just. You know, cars might come over. Is this a... Ah, pass. I don't know how am I, am I supposed to approach this game. Alright, what if I go starting development on this and tutor the land. And like I block like this and take three. I don't use the parcel beast. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I don't think I can keep up Essence Scattered this turn. I just have to act right now. All right, this attack makes me very suspicious. Because, I mean, I have to do this block regardless. You have nothing? Just stole nothing? Alrighty! Farfinder Matuto Tuo! How many you want? You can... You can play now land and another Farfinder, it's fine. This was a this was a great turn, by the way, chat. You can you can write it down. You can write how to make a great turn. This this starting development is only seen as a it's only seen as a as a cycling card, but whoa whoa whoa! Someone is getting genocide ultimatum. <laughs> oh, only this cards? Oh that's okay. I'll take them all. Boom! 
boom, 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 boom. That's fine. I mean, my plenty attack. They were like, oh, I'm in a good spot, maybe, and then, and then few, few, few turns after, not even few turns after, a few seconds after, they are buried. They're buried. They find themselves under the ground into a coffin, and we will dance over it, and we go like do 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 do. Do, 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 do. All right. This wasn't really the best deck to fight in the finals, honestly. Just like black, white, bad cards. But I mean, it happens. You don't get paired against Cogline friends all the time, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, what am I supposed to do here? I don't know. This, this, this game's over. I'm just, just thinking how to play this this is death fetch so i guess i'll uh i'll run through it e, what else do we want to do i don't know let's put a dolphin to play let's put it for a finder just literally clicking random buttons chat maybe i was supposed to give up essence scatter but i don't think there's anything my opponent can have a uh, that keeps them alive so it's fine either way. Boom! Uh, All right, after a big loss with the black, white, non-humans deck, which is the worst archetype in the format, we revenged ourselves with a great Temur deck. Ha 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 ha!